Hi, I'm Patrick and I'm online. Hey everyone, so for this week's video, I just wanted to really quickly go over some pop music because, you know, it's, it's good. I like pop music, I enjoy it. But um, I wanted to look at uh, some of the meanings behind some of these songs and also just take a look at the sort of message that they're putting out into the world because I, I, think, that's, I think that's interesting. I, I just looked at some of the charts and looked at what some of the most popular songs are and um, yeah, we're just gonna take a dive right into it and see see what's going on with this music. I want to first examine Cold Water by uh, Major Lazer that features Justin Bieber and uh, M M O. She's got the O with the little slash in it. I don't know what that's all about. I like her though, she's got a great voice. Everybody gets high sometimes, you know. I don't, actually, I don't know that. What else can we do when we're feeling low? You order a pizza, you, I don't know, you watch a movie, what is... Drugs, not good, okay? So take a deep breath and let it go. You shouldn't be drowning on your own. The nature of drowning is that it happens by yourself, generally. If you're with someone else, I would hope they would save you, but okay, fine. And if you feel like you are sinking, I will jump right over into cold, cold water for you. And although time may take us into different places, I will still be patient with you, and I hope you know. I won't let you go, I'll be your lifeline tonight. See, this seems like, okay, he's gonna be supportive and maybe it's about a relationship or whatever. I think that the meaning behind this, uh, this song is very clear. This is a song about Titanic. This song is definitely about Rose and Jack and how she selfishly floated on that big door all by herself. Didn't save Leo. Come on, come on, save me from my rocking boat. I just want to stay afloat, I'm all alone, I hope, I hope. Someone's gonna take me home. Somewhere I can rest my soul, I need to know. See, this is Rose. She's talking, she's going, oh, I wish I wasn't all alone. You're not all alone, go pick up Jack. He's right there, you got room, okay? It's a big door. I think this is a very poignant look at Titanic and uh, how that movie should have ended. She should have saved him. Now we're gonna look at This Is What You Came For by Calvin Harris, and then uh, this features Rihanna, another DJ you know, with vocalist songs. This is what all people are about these days. The DJs, they just make a song and say, hey, you go sing on this, but it's my song. Your main lyrics are, baby, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves. This song is about X-Men, without a doubt. Lightning strikes every time she moves. This is about Storm, Holly Berry. I'm guessing that Rihanna is probably a big fan of Holly Berry. I am a fan of both of them. They're both pretty great. I don't know what anyone else would think it's about. It's pretty clear. Lightning strikes every time she moves. Holly Berry, thank you. Now I want to take a look at uh, Katy Perry with Rise. This song came out right around the Olympics. It was all like, you know, oh, this is inspirational, blah, blah, blah. I think it might have a slightly different meaning. Victory is in my veins, I know it, I know it. Uh, and I will not negotiate. I will fight it, I will transform. This is where I started to get a cue that this might be about something other than uh, what, what seems on the surface level. When there's fire at my feet again, and the vultures all start circling, they're whispering, you're out of time, but still, I rise. This is a very, very telling set of lyrics. Because the truth is, this song is about baking. Because there's fire at my feet, you're in an oven. And all the vultures start circling, yeah, hungry people. Hungry people circling the oven going, mom, is dinner done? No, it's not done. It's still in the oven. They're whispering, you're out of time. It's the timer's up. It's beeping. We're going. There it is. But still I rise. Okay, yeast rises. All right, I learned that last week in my video where I tried to make pizza. Didn't go well, and actually my yeast didn't really rise too much because I didn't bake it in the oven. But that's neither here nor there. You can go check that out for yourself. But the point is, is that this is about baking. So now I want to look at We Don't Talk Anymore uh, by Charlie Puth featuring uh, Good old Selena Gomez. This one, I think, maybe is straightforward in its meaning, although I still find it very confusing. Because even after all this time, I still wonder why I can't move on just the way you did so easily. Don't want to know the kind of dress you're wearing tonight. Uh, if he's holding on to you so tight the way I did before. I overdosed, again, the drugs in these songs. Not teaching good things to our children, okay? All good, he's upset, that's pretty clear. But then, Selena comes in. I just hope you're lying next to somebody who knows how to love you like me. There must be a good reason that you're gone. He, you're gone from him. He just said that. He's upset that you're with somebody, but now it's upset that he's gone? What do you mean? Every now and then, I think you might want me to come show up at your door, but I'm just too afraid that I'm wrong. 
Honestly, folks, you need to talk this out because you both want each other. Get it together, okay? Talk, communicate, this is important. Anyway, this is a pretty good song. It's very, you know, it's a good bop. You can go like this. Lastly, I want to look at a song that has dominated the charts for quite some time that I avoided pretty effectively, and that is Closer by The Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. Hey, I was doing just fine before I met you. I drink too much and that's an issue. First off, you're a chain smoker. Second off, you're drinking too much and you admit both these things. You need to pull your life together. Hey, tell your friends it was nice to meet them, but I hope I never see them again. Honestly, same. I feel this actually when I meet some people. I'm just like, honestly, they're great, but... So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your Rover that I know you can't afford. Bite that tattoo on your shoulder, pull the sheets right off the corner of that mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder. This song to me is about someone who's an asshole, frankly, because first off, if someone said to me, you know, oh, pull me in the back seat of your Rover that I know you can't afford, I'd be like, listen, I haven't seen you in four years. You don't know what's going on in my life. You don't know if I can afford this or not, okay? You need to back off, bucko. Bite your shoulder? You're gonna bite my shoulder? Don't bite my shoulder. What are you, a vampire? Shut it down. Uh, pull the sheets right off the corner. You're making a mess now, frankly. Of that mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder, you need to back off, okay? Even if it was a stolen mattress, who brings that up? That's just rude. This person seems very presumptuous, and I just don't think he sounds like a very good guy. <sighs> anyway, I just, I think I'm not great with pop music. I like pop music, I like some pop music. Some of these songs, I, I, I don't know. I think that they have some very strange meanings, frankly, but that's okay, that's okay, that's fine. What I would like for you to do now is uh, comment down below some, some songs that you would like to know the meanings of because I can decipher them, I can, I can pull them apart just for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did, please uh, subscribe. There's a little red button down probably right somewhere right there. And also give this video a big thumbs up and uh, I will see you guys next week.